Today is May 4th, Monday of the fourth week of Easter. Our prayers begin on page 56 of Give Us This Day. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 146. Alleluia! My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my life. Sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed the one who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord our God, who made the heavens and the earth, the seas and all they contain, who preserves fidelity forever, who does justice to those who are oppressed, who furnishes bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free, the Lord who opens the eyes of the blind, the Lord who raises up those who are bowed down. It is the Lord who loves the righteous, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the orphan and the widow, but forge the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, from age to age. Alleluia! Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading tonight comes from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. When you read this, you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to human beings in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this I became a minister by the gift of God's grace that was granted me in accord with the exercises of his power. The word of the Lord. Last fall, a group of students from the Cornell Catholic community gathered for a number of weeks <clears throat> to learn about discernment, that process by which we try to understand and then carry out the will of God. The first part of the process is an honest appraisal of our own talents and abilities and personality traits. It was easy to talk about academic skills or artistic skills or physical skills like a predisposition for engineering or piano performance or gymnastics. It was a little harder to recognize the personal gifts of being a patient person under pressure or being someone who maintains steady commitment to an unpopular cause or being a person who perseveres when no one else is there to help. It was most difficult to acknowledge one's personal gift of humility or altruism or tenacity or even faithfulness. Yet, awareness of all these things are the building blocks to understand why God put any of us on this earth. Few of us will have a dramatic Damascus experience like St. Paul. 
figuring out in a blinding flash of light how we will co-partner with Christ. You and I need to ponder and reflect and articulate over and over again our own self-awareness of our gifts over many months and even years. What Paul is suggesting in tonight's brief portion of his letter to the Ephesians is that personal gifts and the awareness of personal gifts and ultimately the exercise of personal gifts are the very stuff of God's grace. These things are God's life embedded and nurtured within us, and not just for our own sake, but for the benefit of the world. For the benefit of the world is the ultimate step in discerning God's will. But just for tonight, name and honor the graces God has given you. And do nothing more than say thank you from the very depths of your heart. God has granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their own conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God has granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. God of all grace and blessing, you favor us by your love and give us peace. In faith we pray, God, come to our aid. You preserve fidelity forever. Uphold those who suffer grief, doubt, or loss of faith. God, come to our aid. You grant justice for the oppressed disclose unjust practices in lands ruled by corruption. God, come to our aid. You furnish bread for the hungry, unite people of all faith traditions in efforts to address world hunger. God, come to our aid. For what else shall we turn to God? In faith we pray, God, come to our aid. Now let us pray as Jesus taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May God animate us to proclaim the gospel and minister to one another out of love for Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a peaceful night.